So, the beekeeper is now going to do his weekly inspection, which he carries out during the summer months. And he's inspecting the hive and he's looking for five vital things. He's making sure the bees have enough food to last them at least until the next inspection, a week's time. Uh, he's look, going to look for eggs or the queen, but if he finds eggs, that means the queen's been there in the last three days. Because it takes three days for an egg to hatch. He's going to check for disease. He's going to check if the bees have plenty of space. And he's going to check if there's any signs of swarming. So, feds. Food, eggs, disease, space and swarming. And he lifts off the first honey super where the bees have got the honey store and that's heavy so it's got a lot of food in it so we don't have to worry about F for food there's plenty of food there the food can be anywhere in the hive as long as they've got food and now we start going through the hive so we take out one frame to give some space check that the queen's not on that frame on the next frame, we see sealed brood as well as open brood, uh, where the larvae have not yet reached a stage where the bees have sealed them, they're still feeding them, and they continue to feed the bees up until about day eight. Here's the white larvae, so the egg hatches after three days, and the bees then start feeding it. And after a further five days, they seal it over with a wax cap. The larvae will have eaten its pool of food by that time that the nurse bees have fed it. So the bees will take a bite of honey and a bite of pollen and produce some food for the larvae. The beekeeper is looking for eggs and he's looking for the queen. And he can see eggs and very young larvae, so he's happy that the queen's there. The, oh, here's the queen. This queen's marked yellow. Look. So there she is. The other thing I want to point out is this bee with yellow on her legs. That's pollen in her pollen baskets. The pollen baskets are areas on her hind leg which you've got hairs that she can put pollen into and carry it back to the hive. There are up to 40,000 bees in a colony and about a third of them will be out foraging, collecting nectar and pollen to bring back to the hive. And they'll do that for about three weeks and then they'll die just due to old age. But don't worry because the queen can be producing laying eggs at the rate of up to 2,000 a day. So we've got lots of replacement bees coming along. So that's it. The beekeeper looks to make sure there's no disease. If there was bad disease on the brood comb, we might have to tell the bee inspector. The roa is a mite that attacks the bee and sucks its blood and unfortunately introduces viruses uh, which can eventually kill the bees off. So we have to keep control of Varroa. Its posh name is Varroa Destructor and it's pretty well made. It does destroy the colonies if it's not uh, treated. And that's it. The beekeeper is fairly happy. That's a good healthy colony. There was no sign of the cells have been, if they'd been thinking of swarming, they would have produced a vertical cell and the queen would have laid an egg in it and there would be a larva in there with royal jelly being fed to produce a new queen. That cell gets sealed at about day seven and a half or day eight and as soon as that happens the old queen would leave with about a third of the colony and go off to set up another colony. That is the bees method of uh, spreading the colonies. So the beekeeper doesn't want to lose a third of his bees and will cover that in another clip which is how the beekeeper can prevent the hive from swarming. 
make sure we don't squash bees because if we squash a bee the cleaner bees will suck it all up and if there's any disease in that squashed bee it'll spread the disease so squashed bees spread diseases so we don't want to squash them Put on the roof. We'll just put a brick on the top of the roof to stop it blowing off. And that's the inspection done. The beekeeper's happy. That's a good sound colony and it's safe enough for another week or ten days.